Hey, what's up friends? Grant Baldwin here from the Speaker Lab. Welcome back to another video breakdown of a TEDx talk, this time from a guy named Will Steven, where he's kind of doing a meta look at uh, what it's like to give a TED talk. So he does it in a very uh, entertaining, humorous way. I think you're gonna get a lot from this. So without further ado, roll it. Eventually. Hear that? That's nothing. Which is what I, as a speaker at today's conference, have for you all. I have nothing. Nada. Zip. Zilch. Zippo. Nothing smart. Okay, so what he's doing here is, again, he's kind of building some tension for the audience. This is something we've talked a lot about. But when a speaker comes out on stage, the audience has no clue, is this going to be funny? Is this going to be serious? Is this going to be entertaining? Is this going to be sad? Is this going to be depressing? Is this going to be boring? We have no clue what it's going to be. So the audience right now is going like, okay, he just came out and said that this is going to be, he has nothing for us, zip, zilch, nada, all of the things he just said there. And so we're kind of wondering, what do you, like, what do you mean by that? So. People are starting to probably catch on, like this is probably gonna be uh, entertaining, this is probably gonna be funny in some way. But again, the audience just doesn't know uh, until the speaker gets to that point where it starts to kind of break some of that tension. Nothing inspirational, nothing even remotely researched at all. I have absolutely nothing to say whatsoever. And yet, through my manner of speaking, I will make it seem like I do. Like what I am saying is brilliant. And maybe, just maybe, you will feel like you've learned something. Now, I'm gonna get started with the opening. I'm gonna make a lot of- Okay, so whenever he first puts that up there, now all of a sudden the audience is kinda like, okay, I got it. I, I kinda get where this is going now. I kinda get this, this character that he's playing in this. Uh, but again, the audience doesn't oftentimes feel that or sense that or know that until he actually puts that up. Hand gestures. I'm gonna do this with my right hand, I'm gonna do this with my left, I I'm gonna adjust my glasses, and then I'm gonna ask you all a question. Uh, by show of hands, how many of you all have been asked a question before? Okay, now you notice that the audience is starting to, more and more, they're starting to be like, okay, I'm in on the joke now, and they're starting to relax, starting to laugh a little bit more, because they see where it's going. Okay, great, I'm seeing some hands. And again, I have nothing here. <laughs> now, I'm gonna to react to that and act like I'm telling you a personal anecdote. Something to break the tension something to endear myself a little bit, <laughs> something kind of uh, embarrassing. <laughs> and you guys are gonna make an awe sound. Aww. It's true, it really happened. <laughs> and now I'm gonna bring it to a broader point. I'm gonna reel you back in. I'm gonna make it intellectual. Now this is again a very meta thing that he's doing there because all these things do work as a speaker, right? And so these are the things that we talk about on these videos, the things that we break down, the speakers do that can really absolutely work for speakers. But he's kind of doing it again in a meta, meta poke fun type of way, which uh, is certainly working here. I'm gonna bring it to this man right here. Now, what this man did was important, I'm sure. <laughs> but I, for one, have no idea who he is. I simply Google image the word scientist. <laughs> and now, you see, I'd like it to seem like I'm making points, building an argument, inspiring you to change your life, when in reality, this is just me buying time. <laughs> now, if you don't believe me, let's take a look at the numbers. This is a real thing that's happening right now. <laughs> the number of talks that I'm giving is one. <laughs> Interesting facts imparted thus far in said talk, well, that's gonna be a zero. My height in inches is 70.5, note the point .5 there. Two times six equals 12, and then interestingly enough, six times two also equals 12, that's math. <laughs> 352 is a three digit number. One, two, three, four, five, and then almost immediately following that, we get six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's good. Now, to add more filler here, I'm gonna give you a couple more numbers to consider. Uh, 18, 237. 5,601, 2.6 million, 4, 4, 24, staggering. These are real numbers, all of them. And to follow that up, let's take a look at some graphs. Now, if you take a look at this pie chart, what you're gonna see is that the majority far exceeds the minority. 
Everybody see that? Cool. So this is a good, again, observation type of humor, of taking something that everybody recognizes as like, this is funny, and now let's like, let's kind of step outside of it and poke some fun at it. So uh, a good uh, example of this is Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld, the comedian, does a great, great job with observational humor, that when you kind of step outside of it and you use that type of humor, it makes the audience be like, that's so true. Like, that's what TED Talk speakers do, right? So if you find yourself delivering something and the audience is saying, like nodding along in a way of like, that's so true, that's actually happening, that does happen. Uh, that's really, really good humor because it's something that's like right in front of our face, but we don't actually realize it or think about it until the speaker actually points it out. So he's, he's doing a great job of, again, poking fun at speakers in, in a playful way. Cool, isn't it? And let's take a look at this bar graph because it shows similarly irrelevant data. Now, <laughs> I'm doing this because I'd like to make it seem like I've done my homework. If you were, say, watching this on YouTube with the sound off, you might think, huh, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. But I don't. I'm floundering, panicking, I've got nothing. I'm a total and utter phony. But you know what? I was offered a TED Talk. And damn it, I'm going to see it through. <laughs> now, if you take a look behind me, these are just words paired with vaguely thought-provoking stock photos. I'm going to point at them like I'm making use both of my time as well as your time, but in reality, I don't know what half of them mean. And now, as these continue, I'm just going to start saying gibberish. Wagga wa, gabba gabba, turkey, mouth in a mouth. Chip. Another good example of a, of a comedian that does as well is a guy named Jim Gaffigan. You may have seen some of his videos. Very, very funny comedian. And so one of the things that Jim does is he takes one topic and he tries to take all of the meat off of that bone. So you may have heard him do a bit about uh, Hot Pockets, right? Um, and so he'll take this one thing on Hot Pockets and he'll go into it for uh, several minutes and to the point where you feel like there's no possible way he can come at this from any other angle. And so what he basically does, he's, he, he, he talks about his process sometimes where he like, like, I take this one random topic, a topic that we all know and are, are, are familiar with, and I just go, I look at it from every possible angle and brainstorm it. And so again, this is really what he's doing in this presentation, is taking like, okay, in a TED talk, a typical, stereotypical t TED talk, what are all the things that, okay, people are using like, um, uh, like these kind of vague, inspirational, motivational type terms, or like these stock pictures, or people are using graphs, where they're showing numbers, and so how can I incorporate those and include those in some type of uh, funny way? Trip, my dog Skip. Rip it and dip it, Richard. I'm an itty bitty baby bopper, and I'm hungry in my tum tum. Brad Pitt, Uma Thurman. Names, things, words, words, and more things. And see, it feels like it might make sense, doesn't it? Like maybe, just maybe, I'm building to some sort of satisfying conclusion. I mean, I'm gesticulating as though I am. I'm pacing, I'm growing in intensity, I'm taking off my glasses, which, by the way, are just frames. It's great. It was a great piece. I wore them to look smart, even though my vision is perfect. <laughs> and now I'm going to slow things down a little bit. I'm going to change the tone. I'm going to make it seem like I'm building to a moment. <laughs> and what if I was? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? What can you do? Life's a roller coaster. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if there's one thing you take away from my talk, I'd like you to think about what you heard at the beginning, and I'd like you to think about what you hear now. Because it was nothing, and it's still nothing. Think about that. <laughs> or don't, that's fine. And now I'm going to stop talking. Thank you. Yeah, good way to conclude that, and a good, again, good simple presentation there. Uh, doing something in a different kind of meta type of way, so uh, really great talk there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video breakdown of Will Stevens' TEDx talk, all about what it's like to give a TEDx talk. Hey, as always, feel free to subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on any of these videos. Make sure you like the video below. Also, make sure you comment on two things. One, what is your takeaway that you're gonna apply to your next presentation? And two, let us know if there's a TED talk or a presentation or a speech that you would like for us to break down on one of our upcoming videos. So make sure you do those things below. We will catch you next time, my friend. You're awesome.